that in the course of recording, mm -hmm, you would realize that even for what the group has done, though everybody is arriving at the same balance, some people are giving different figures for some of the accounts. And so in a very typical manual accounting system, there are bound to be errors in the recording and posting. Okay, I don't have both questions. And so I, that is why I didn't make any comments about it. I'm sure it's because some people are using the 2021, others are using 2018 and a few figures may have changed. But the good thing is that we were able to at least agree the balances. Now, in situations where we are posting, sometimes there are bound to be mistakes, especially in manual systems. Remember, we are human, and as we are typing, it's, it can always happen, okay? Nobody is a superhuman, not even us, so... Okay, so Ben has reposted the Frank Wood. So Federica, you can always pick that and then look at some questions there. Okay, that you could practice further. Now these errors would have to be rectified. Sometimes these errors will go unnoticed and in the end you will balance. But as time goes on, it may appear somewhere. Okay, it could be when the auditors come or when somebody is doing the review. Now, before we prepare the financials and before we even put together the trial balance, there is the need to make sure that we minimize the errors. Okay, and so the topic we are going to treat this afternoon, okay, is just to help us know what control accounts are and what they can be used for, okay, in the accounting process. Now, at the end of the session, we expect that students can be able to explain control accounts and identify or understand the purpose of control accounts. And also prepare the two main control accounts, which are the sales or the debtors ledger control accounts and the purchases or the creditors ledger control account. Excuse me. As usual, we have a recommended text excuse me, to go through. Now, what is control accounts? Okay, now it is just a normal account. I, I expect that when I say an account, we all have some visual knowledge of what an account looks like, okay, and what it, it does. A summary of transactions relating to a particular item or person. Okay, so control account is also an account first and foremost, but it picks the summary of all transactions. Okay, the summary of the transactions posted into the individual accounts in a given ledger. How many types of ledgers do we have? Um, let me even go to the main types. What are the main types of ledgers? Who would help us out? Um, Millicent, any? Millicent, what are the main types of ledgers? Is Millicent a name in class? Yes, Amos. Amos, what are the main types of ledgers? Amos, we can't hear you, Michael. Which is leisure, sales Manus leisure, sales leisure. leisure. The main types, they be careful in exams. If they ask you 
the main, it is the general ledger and the subsidiary ledgers. These are the main. Under the subsidiary ledgers, we have the purchases ledger and we have the sales ledger. So let's be careful, okay? If you happen to be in multiple choice, these are the basic things. You will think, oh, I have scored. And it's not that you don't know, but you must be mindful of the words, okay? And how it has been described in your text or in your slides. Okay, so those are the two main types of ledgers, the general ledger and the subsidiary ledgers. Now, under the general ledger, under the subsidiary ledgers, under the sales subsidiary ledgers or ledger, what accounts are captured under the sales ledger? Um, Angela and Triboisiakum. Angela, what accounts are captured under the sales ledger? Angela. Yes, Kelvin. Madam, the personal accounts of uh, customers. The personal accounts of customers. Prince, you want to help us with accounts captured in the purchases ledger? That's what I was about to say. The personal account of uh, customers. Oh, I said purchases ledger, Prince. Oh, okay. Uh... <laughs> Okay, okay. And so these are the accounts you will find under these ledgers. Okay. And the control account picks the summary of these ledgers. So what it means is that if you take all the accounts under the sales ledger, last week we looked at the account of Ascertain, Freeman and Joe. So the total of their balances, okay, would be posted to the control account. So that's what we are talking about, the summary. Okay, posted in each ledger, we are taking the summary. Now the control account is also an account hosted in the general ledger. And it is supposed to control the individual accounts in the subsidiary ledger, okay? Another function or another thing it does is that the control account checks arithmetical accuracy of the entries within the individual accounts, okay? So any figure we are picking as a team, Freeman, Joe, if we add it up, we should be able to put it in the control account. And at the end of the period, whatever figure we capture as a team, Freeman, in the trial balance should agree. So we know that we have picked the right figures and it is correct, okay? So, you would realize that the sales ledger control summarizes the individual customer account, whilst the purchases ledger would summarize the individual supplier account. The key thing with the control account is that it is built with only totals. I repeat, only totals, not the individuals. Okay, so the totals of all transactions that have been individually posted into these various accounts. What is the purpose? I've already told you that the key one is to be able to locate errors. Your control account must be the same as the total of the balances on the individual in the subsidiary ledger. So if you take the sales account, 
and you have prepared the control account, then when you take the total of the individual balances, okay, of Freeman, Joe, and uh, ascertain, they must be equal to the control account. Then it means that the entries that you, the double entry that involved these three customers have been posted rightly, okay? Again, it provides a summary of the total debtors and creditors and helps the accountant to check and to avoid fraud, okay? It also facilitates quick decision-making because you are picking totals. And so you have an idea of your total debtors at a point in time or for the period. You have an idea of those who have paid. You have an idea of those that you are writing off because they are failing to pay, okay? And then finally, it helps the preparation of the trial balance, okay? Because once the balances are equal, okay, are the same as the control, then you know that your trial balance, okay, will be correct and you can prepare your financials. Now, these are the two main kinds of ledgers as we already know, the general ledger and the subsidiary ledgers. In the same vein, we have, okay, the control accounts. And the control account is mostly focused on the subsidiary ledgers. So we have the sales ledger. We similarly have the, the sales ledger control account. Okay. And what is the sales ledger control account used for? It is used to keep track of all transactions with our credit customers or debtors. I presume that up to this point, anytime we mention the business entity as a separate legal entity and its customers or debtors, we know it is assets. And it has to do with sales ledger or sales control accounts. In the same way, anytime we mention the business buying goods from its suppliers, we are referring to the purchases ledger or the purchases ledger control account or creditors. These are terminologies that must be at our fingertips to help us at every point in time. Otherwise, sometimes it gets all confusing. You are not even sure whether it's a customer. You are not even sure whether it's a creditor. But the very moment you put yourself, the business. So what is the business doing? Who is the business selling to? If it is on credit, then you know that person is a debtor, it's a customer. And debtor balances have debit balances, they are assets. Because that party, the money, the business money with that party must be collected. In similarly, when the business also acquires goods from outside, it could be goods, it could be anything on credit, then that outside party, it is referred to as a liability. And that is a supplier. In accounting, we would say it is a creditor because the business would have to pay that person. Okay, so that person is a creditor to the business. So these are terminologies you must use. Otherwise, anytime you see transactions, you get all confused because you don't know whether the person is a customer or the person is a, is a supplier. You need to be very, uh, you need to be, you need to find a way, okay, to know those key terms and words as used in accounting. Now, this is a typical sales ledger control account. And I'm going to take my time just to give you an insight into how this is constructed. In the control account, double entry doesn't take place. So that is one thing we must note. In the control account, there is no double entry. We are only picking totals. 
And so anytime you have a question on control account, the information will not allow you to do double entry. You will not even see transactions. You only see figures and you only have to post them. And that is what we have here. So all you have to know as students is to know which control accounts and what is on the debit and what is on the credit. And when you take my time to explain that to you. Now this is a sales control account, okay, which is supposed to capture all the balances of the debtors from the sales ledger. I'll repeat that. The sales ledger control account is supposed to capture the totals, okay, from the sales ledger. That is the totals of the individual accounts from the sales ledger. And that is what it does. Now, it, and so because the individual accounts ordinarily have debit balances, the sales ledger control account ordinarily should also have a debit balance. So that is the first rule. The sales ledger control account ordinarily has a debit balance. However, there are instances where some customers, okay, have finished paying, but after paying off their debt, they realize that some of the goods don't meet their specifications, and so they return them. And so obviously, you would realize that such a customer doesn't have any figure outstanding. And the business, once you return goods, okay, if you look at return inwards, you debit returns, and maybe you credit the customer. So if you are crediting the customer's account and there is no balance, then the balance will become a credit balance. And so that is why you see the balance BD on the credit hand side as well. Okay, and this ones are not, it is not that norm, but we cannot rule it out. Okay, there are some customers who will pay up in good time. Okay, and then along the line, they return some of the goods. So we'll have to credit their account and that can show a balance BD. Good. Now, what do we enter on the debit side of the control account? Yes, Benjamin, are you? I hope you are not writing on my screen. On the debit side of the control account, all transactions that would increase the data balances or that will add on to the data balances are entered on the debit side. So let us go back to ascertain. Sold goods on credit to ascertain. Where would we record it? Madam Debit. Madam Debit side. Please, I want double entry. I am not interested in only. Immediately I say at this point, we always want to start from double entry. So all that be done, sold goods on credit to ascertain worth 100 CDs. What is the double entry? Madam, you debit as a team with mm -hmm. CDs and you credit sales with under CDs. So you debit as a team and credit sales. Good. All die be die sold goods to Freeman worth 350. Where would we enter it? Um, Ellen Yakua Ellen Yakua Madam, please, we will, we will credit, uh, we will debit Freeman, then we will credit sales. Okay, so debit Freeman and you credit sales. So increasingly, okay, the debit to Freeman and to Ascertain's account adds on to the total of the debtor's figure. And so anything or any transaction 
or transactions on the individual accounts that would increase the data balance would be put on the debit side. So you would realize that in this example I have given, there is a debit to ascertain of 100, there is a debit to Freeman of 200. That together would give us 300 cities. And that will be the total of the credit, of the sales credit that we have here. Are we okay? Now, cash refunds. If we refund to them cash amounts, okay? If we refund cash to them, okay, cash that they have paid and we refund, it goes to increase their indebtedness to the business. So it only assumes that then they have, we have sold to them, they are yet to pay. In a similar vein, if they give us checks, so last week, some of the examples ascertain paid by check. If we send that check to the bank and they tell us that there is no money in ascertain's account, it means that that check would have been dishonored. Okay, and so we would, it means that the, the amount that they owe us as a business entity would still be higher. So we we'll have to add it back. Interest on overdue balances. Sometimes there are times when, when we sell to customers, okay? Once you don't pay beyond a certain date or a certain time frame, you are charged interest on the balances that are outstanding. And that would increase your indebtedness to the business. Bad debt is, a, is um, it's a, uh, I want to use the word it's not coming. It is supposed to, but bad debt occurs when a customer has, de not deliberately, but sometimes deliberately, sometimes due to circumstances, have refused to pay. At a point in time, the rule says you should clear off that balance. But later, when the customer comes to pay, you would have to reinstate the amount the customer owes you. And that is what we refer to as recovered. So if you are unable to pay for a very long time, and we clear it off our books, which is the bad debt written off. The next time you find money and you decide to come and pay, we have to reinstate your debt. And so it increases the indebtedness of our customers. Bills receivable dishonored words like checks. There are times that people will give a promissory note or a bill that is uh, that you can only cash at a point after a while. So it's like a post-dated check or a bill or a note. Okay. And so when the time is due and you send it and it is dishonored, it means that the customers are still indebted. They haven't paid. And so it increases the indebtedness of the customers. On the credit hand side of the sales ledger control, it captures all data or information that will reduce the indebtedness of the customers. So the first one is the sales return. Okay, anytime customers return, so we sold to a certain 100 cities. Then after a day or two, ascertain returns goods worth 50 cities. It only tells us that ascertain is now owing only 50. So we know what we'll do. We will debit return inwards and credit ascertain. So that total of all the returns is what we capture here as sales returns. And if we put all together, they will together reduce the indebtedness of all our customers. Similarly, if the customers pay their debts, either by cash or by check, okay, and it goes through, it also reduces their indebtedness. 
And so it is on the credit side. When we allow discount, recall that discount allowed is given for prompt payment. So if the customers pay promptly and the business entity gives them discount, we'll put all the discounts together and also credit it because it reduces the amount that they have to pay their indebtedness, okay? Then the bad debts written off, okay? I told you that after a while, if people are unable to pay, the rule is that you write it off after you have taken all the necessary steps. So once you do that, it also reduces the amount of debt, the total customers owe you. Bills receivable are just amounts that you have received, okay? And they have gone through. It also reduces. Now who can tell us what balance set off is about? Balance set off. Yes, um, I can see two hands up. Yes. Hey, madam. Yes. Madam, let's say a situation whereby maybe you sold goods on credit to a customer. Mm -hmm. And maybe uh, the customer, maybe the business also purchased some goods from the customer. Then maybe uh, let's say we are owing the customer uh, eight thousand, and that particular customer is also owing us eight thousand. Then uh, we agree with the customer that okay, fine. So far as we are owing you, you are also owing us. Then let us set set it off. Like keep the one that uh, you are owing us. Then we also uh, keep that one. Like they are balancing it. Uh -huh. So the customer is not supposed to pay, and then the business too is supposed. Uh, it's also not supposed to pay because the amount is always the same. Okay, good. So that is set off. Okay, instances where both the customer is also a supplier. So it's taken with one hand and we also giving with one hand. At that point, okay. Accounting does not allow us to net it off, to say, okay, you are owing us this and we are also owing us that, no. So we we'll put how much you are owing us and we we'll also put how much we have to pay you and it will set itself up, okay? It will nullify itself. So, okay, that is set off. So that is the first ledger control account. Again, let me reiterate the fact that it captures the totals of all transactions that will go into the individual sales accounts under the general ledger, uh, sorry, under the sales ledger. So we'll pick the total of all the credit sales to all the customers. We'll pick all the returns and total it and put the total here. We'll pick all the cash that have been made by customers and we'll put them there in total for the period. Okay, and that is the cash account. Now, where do we obtain information from? Some of them you don't have to now go and tabulate. Okay, in practical terms, you would have to pick the information and prepare a debtor's schedule. But the purpose of exams, we cannot allow you to go and pick all and then be adding. That will be a lot, a lot of work, okay? So we have sources of information. So the opening balance, yes, Parkwesi. Uh, Madam, please, so the um, sales ledger control accounts, we draw it the same way it is in the slides or that one to also use the dates, details, ledger folio and amount. So you use the dates, the details, and the amount. Yes, okay. ma'am. Thank but you. But normally, it's a period. Yes, so please. sometimes the date, you may not get the date. And that is why you see it like this. So if you cannot get the yes, date, ma because if you are picking the total of all sales for the 
You cannot get the individual. It's not a transaction. Yes, madam. So, madam, so can we use the um, ending date? Um, yes, you can use the ending date, but you can also, you see, to make it short for you, don't use date. Just put the date on yes. top. So if you are preparing yes, the madam. sales letter control account for all that, you just put on top all that sales ledger control account for the period ended. So it's for yes, a period. Ma and the information will give you yes, some information, the date on that. Okay. That's one. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Yeah. Mauli, I said bad debts recovered. Okay, but you understand bad debts written off. Mauli. Bad debts recovered. When the, the debt has gone bad, it means that we have, the business has put in every effort and still cannot collect. And the rule says when you cannot collect, sometimes it's because the business has collapsed. The business has gone bankrupt. The person you are collecting from or the customer can no more be found. The customer has gone bankrupt. What do you do? You cannot keep that figure on your books forever, for life. So you write it off, and that is the rating off. When you write it off, it reduces the total indebtedness. But you are there, and then the customer comes back and says, oh, it is because of this and this, so I want to come and pay my debt. Because you have cleared it off your books, you have to reinstate it as a debt before you write it off, before you accept it. Remember that customer would have brought cash. So you have to come and add it to your total indebtedness again, okay, to know how much it is. And that is what the recovered means. So you've been able to recover what you wrote off. Okay, so you are only reinstating what it was previously. Okay. Now, where do we pick information from? This is a very simple topic. If you want the opening debtors, if you have a data shadow, you'd have to pick it from there. If you don't have, then you, have, you can pick it from the list of the previous balances. So remember we had balance brought down, balance carried down. So if 31st August 2021, balance carried down, we know that 1st September, it becomes balance brought down. And so that becomes the opening. So if you want to get the balance, the opening debtors, you can add a certain Freeman, Joe, their balance brought forward, okay, from the previous period to give you your opening data balance. The credit sales, you pick it from the sales day book or the sales journal. Remember the sales journal captures all the transactions from, for the period okay, for the period on credit, okay, so you pick it from the sales day book. Return inwards, you pick it from the return inwards journal. Cash received and checks, you pick it from the cash book, okay, but you have to be careful there because in the cash book, you may have cash sales. Meanwhile, the control accounts purposely are for only credit transactions and so and transactions relating to sales on credit that have been paid and so you are only going to the cash book to pick receipts from the debtors on the receipt side okay only receipts from debtors so if you have cash sales that will not relate to the control accounts if you have receipts from ascertain, ascertain was a data. And so that cash receipt will be in the control accounts. But if you have cash sales, it should never appear in the control accounts, okay? Then we also have the bad debts written off. Bad debts written off, you'll find it in the general journal, okay, of any debt that has been written off in the period. Discount allowed will find itself in the cash book 
Here again, you should know that discount is only given to those who have paid promptly and relate to debtors. And so that one, you can pick the totals, okay, and send it. And then you have the closing data balance, which is the period end. So when you're not given information, you can pick the balance, see this for the period and use that to re represent the closing data balance. Then we also have the purchases ledger control, which is the opposite of the sales. We know purchases ledger, okay, captures the individual accounts of the suppliers. Okay, so example we had relating to the other example we, we went through last week. Okay, had Pao and Susie, and then there was a third one. Okay, those are creditors. Those are people who supplied to the business entity. Okay, and we know that all creditors, all liabilities have credit towards balances. And so ordinarily, the purchases ledger control account, and indeed the individual accounts under the purchases ledger have credit balances. That is the norm. Again, although they normally have credit balances, there are times that we have gone to buy, we have paid in good time, but later we return some of the goods. And so they have to credit our accounts in their books. And we will also have to debit it to show that we have returned some of the goods and we have a balance standing. And so you will sometimes have the debit balances standing, okay? But the normal thing is to have a credit balance, okay? Again, with respect to purchases, any transaction or the activities or transaction that would increase the liability would always be credited. And all transactions that will reduce, okay, the business liability will be debited to the purchases ledger controller firm. So all our purchases from the suppliers, Suzy, Powell will be credited because it is increasing the business entity's liability. If they give us some refunds, it would increase our liability. It means that the checks, the cash we sent, they, they sent the money was refunded to us. It could be mistakenly, okay? Interest on overdue balance. So we are supposed to pay our suppliers. We haven't paid, okay? After a while, if they decide to charge us interest, it would increase our liability to them. So we credit. If we give them some bills or some notes to go and collect later, and they go and it's on it, it means we have not paid. So our liability must be increased. On the other hand, if we return, the business entity returns good to them. It just returns outwards. It reduces our liability. So it's on the debit side. If we pay, okay, Powell, Suzy, cash or check, it reduces the business liability. So it's on the debit side. If we also pay promptly and they give us a discount, it should reduce our liability. Bills payable, okay? If we give them bills, should be reduced and our liability and then the set off is here again. So realize that set off is there and it is here. Why? Because of the fact that one person has an amount and the, and the one person has is both a, a creditor and a debtor, okay? In a similar vein, where do we pick information for the purchases ledger control account? The opening balances would also be picked either from the creditors ledger or from the list of previous period balances 
brought down or carried down. Okay, which you would always find as CD or BD. Credit purchases you would always have to go to the purchases day book to pick the totals because we know that in the purchases day book it records all credit purchases from our suppliers. So we can go and pick the period, the, the totals for the period. Return outwards, we'll have to go to the return outwards journal, which also captures goods that we have purchased on credit but have returned. Okay. And so the return outwards journal, the totals, cash and checks that the business has paid would be picked from the credit side of the cash book and the bank account relating to only payments to the creditors, to those we owe, not cash purchases. Discount received will have to go to the cash book, okay? And then the closing creditors, we can pick the balance CD as well to represent that. There was a hand that was up. Nana Kwapna, what is your challenge? Uh, Madam, please, um, I just want you to um, explain the bills payables to me. Like, I'm not really getting it. The bills payable is not anything extraordinary. I've just said again that sometimes we may give a bill, and a bill could be a document that suggests that I will pay. Payable. Payable means the person has given you something to suggest that you will pay. Okay, and the payment date is not yet due. Now, immediately you receive it, and that is why you see payable and payable is on it. So if today I owe you and I give you a note that on the 30th of, of April, okay, go to my bankers, you will transfer the money into your account. That can be a bills payable. Okay, because the due date is not yet there. And so on the 30th, you have to send it. Now, if you send and there is no money that is transferred, then it has been dishonored. If they go that day, so the day I received it, I treated it as payment for the purchases that the business has made. So I debit it and it reduced the, indebt the, the, the liability. But when I go to the bank and ask the person to transfer and they said there is no money or the signature has a problem. It has been dishonored. So it means this reduction has to be nullified. That is why you see the payable dishonored on the debit side as to, on the credit side, okay? But if you go and this one gets paid, it has reduced your indebtedness, then there'll be no dishonored. So what we have done with the control account is to put in all the possible entries that you may find in a typical control account. Are we okay? Do you get it? Yes, madam. Okay, thank you. Emmanuel, Emmanuel Danso. Yeah, madam, about the, uh, the sales ledger control account. And then you can have some uh, transactions like maybe bad debt routine of recovery. So you have to treat it at both the debit and the credit side. So maybe I want you to explain that. Bad debt recovered at what? I think I've explained the bad debt. Uh, Madam, that like maybe routine of and recovered at the same time. Yes, is that not what I explained? I told you that when it is written off, it means that the business have done everything possible to collect that amount, it's unable to. So though the, the, the debtors are owing, immediately you write it off, it reduces the amount that the debtors are owing. Let us remember that the balance on the control accounts should be equal to all the balances of the individual accounts under each ledger put together. 
So whatever is going on on each individual account is just the totals we are replicating here. So if one customer, let us assume that after chasing uh, Freeman, we couldn't collect his debt of 200 and we wrote it off. It means in Freeman's book, we will assume that he's unable to pay and close his account. So the balance outstanding is 200. We will treat it as bad debts and send it to our expense. It is an expense. So immediately that happens, the same thing will come here. It means if we capture the amount of debt left, it will be less that one. So it reduces the total debt. But if later Freeman says, oh, I had a problem. Now I have got your 200, so I'm bringing it back. The assumption is that we have cleared it off our books. So how do we now treat that amount? So we have to recover the amount by now bringing, opening Freeman's account and debiting Freeman's account to assume that that thing now has, to, has resurrected. If I should use the word resurrected in quotes, okay, it has come back. Okay, then we can now say it has paid. So we have to open the bad debts recovered accounts. Are you okay? And then we would have to show that it is increasing the, the debts and then we write it off. We, we clear it of the books. Yeah, madam. Are you okay? So that means we can have a question that deals with the two sides at the same time. Of course, you can have it. If I write, if if you don't pay and I've chased you and you don't pay, the rule says write it off. But if before the end of a period you come and pay, I'll reinstate your figure and show that you were owing me and I've, I've collected my money now. That's all it means. Okay, madam. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, madam, so, please. Mm -hmm. uh, that means the bad debt recovered. You see, uh, when it is bad, that means you credit your customer's account and, and write that amount off. So when you receive it, like after you have debited the customer's account, you have to debit bad debt account too. Yes. But we are not focusing on that now. So that's why I didn't talk about the other entry. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So, any other question on that? We are going to go through an example. Um, I hope you have the questions. Um, ben? Yes, Nancy. Madam. Yes. Please, I wanted to ask with the refunds, we ha there, there are certain questions which will come with cash customers' refunds and credit customers' refunds, and how are you going to treat that? So if, if ah, I, I showed it there. When I said cash and bank refunds, that is how we treat it. Hmm? Please, please there, there's, um, there's some that will write credit customers' refunds and cash customers' refunds. How are you going to treat that? So um, let me get back to you. How do you think we should treat it? I don't know. Think through it. If a customer refunds, what is he refunding? Is it cash or is it? Or the business is refunding to a customer. Okay, so maybe on the 30th of September, all die be die. We fund 100 cities to ascertain what entries will you pass? Yes, who asked the question? Nancy, 30th September, all die be die. We fund. 100 cities to ascertain. What is the double entry? Yes? 
Yes, Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Yeah. So uh, on the 30th of September, we refund like let's say the business refunded the money to them. That means maybe a designer check or anything. That means you in cash. So it means they are uh, they are debt to increase. That means you debit uh, as a thing and you credit uh, cash. Exactly. So it is the same idea from the business transaction that you are capturing in the control account. The only thing, the difference is that the control account is capturing the totals. Okay, so if there are a number of refunds to ascertain to uh, Freeman, to Joe, they have to add all their refunds and put it there as refunds. And if we have refunded to you, then it's increasing your indebtedness. Because we have given you some money. Mistake, it could be a mistake. It could be an agreement. Okay. Are you okay? Yes, please. Okay, so anytime you are confused, we try to count a transaction out of it and see the double entry. And it's the same double entry principle. The only thing is that here you don't do the double entry. But if you understand the double entry relating to predators, you should know. Again, let me reiterate the point that when it comes to the sales ledger control and the purchases ledger, or anytime you hear sales ledger control, think of debtors. Okay, debtors are assets, so debit balance. If you hear purchases ledger control, think of creditors. Creditors are suppliers. They have credit balances because they are, it's a liability to the business entity. Okay. Oh, sorry, I didn't talk about the balancing. Oh, I just recall. And at the end of it, the balances, if you look at this one, you see that because the sales ledger control always has a debit balance, the balance carried down should normally be on the credit side so that the following period you would have a debit. But here again, because there are a lot of transactions, it is possible that you can have a balance carried down and brought down here. Okay, the same thing with the purchases control account. Ordinarily, purchases ledger control has a credit balance. So the balance CD should be on the opposite side, which should be this here. But it's possible if you have a BD here, you can have a closing balance as well, and the two would appear. So let's quickly take this question. Um, I guess you people have it. I've told you every time you're coming to class, make sure you have the next questions set so that we will. Okay. Uh, we don't have it. Who said you don't have it? Madam, we don't. But I don't have it. Ben, Ben, don't you have it? All these I sent to Ben first week. Hey, Ben. So hey, Ben. Go to the platform. The only thing maybe Ben will have to do is that at the beginning of every lecture, we would have to repost. So please get this. And let's go through. Ben, are you able to retrieve it? Once you retrieve it, it makes going through it very easy. Ben, are you able what? to put it on the platform? Please, on uh, the... You, you didn't send this one to me. Oh, Ben, are you sure I didn't send this to you? Yes, please. I sent all the questions to you. Okay, so let me quickly see what I can do. Because once we have the question, it makes it very easy to go through it.
every time you have, please make sure you are reading your requirements first. So you read the heading and then you read the requirements. Yes, Louisa. The following balances and transactions were extracted from the financial records of the Jasu Jasu Enterprise for the month of June 2018. Balance at first June 2018. No, you got me there. Give me the requirements. You are required to write up the sales ledger control account, purchases ledger control account for the month of June 2018. Okay. So you are required to write up the sales ledger control account and the purchases ledger control account. If you look at the information you have here, you realize that it is not transactions. And so you cannot talk about double entry. Okay. So now I'm going to stop sharing in order to be able to work with the whiteboard. Okay. So this is a very simple one. We are going to be just drawing the two. So we have the purchases ledger control account. In the books of who? Just so, just so, just so, just so, enterprise. Sales ledger control accounts. Okay, so the purchases ledger should come under, but it's on the next page because of that. So it's all still in the books of. Just so, just so enterprise or limited. Okay, we still have our debit here, our credit remains here. If you look at the question, we don't have, we only have opening what? Dates. Opening balance. So yeah. Opening balance. So, what is our opening balance? for the sales ledger control account. At the debit side, 76,000. Mm -hmm. Can we all see that? Yes, madam. Yes. Okay, so what date are you going to use? First, what? First June. Uh, June. June 2018. I won't change the date, so. Balance what? Balance what? Balance Bid. How much is it?
Okay, so first June eighteen balance B D seventy six thousand. Seventy six thousand. Mm -hmm. And at the same There's a yeah. credit balance as well. Yeah. So you realize that because ordinarily it's supposed to be a credit balance, credit balance is quite what small. Madam, so what causes the credit balance? That's what I said. That sometimes there are some customers. Okay, during the period have paid up, but like later they paid in advance. Not that they've paid in advance. So, for instance, um, I have sold to you as a team, okay, and as a team has come to pay. It could also be that they have paid in advance. They paid more than they came for. So they're turning on their account instead of a debit. Okay, it could also be that uh, they came, they paid everything, but they returned some goods. And so you know that when we return, we credit the customer and debit returns. Now, if they haven't come for additional goods and the period ended, there'll be a balance, a credit balance turning on the accounts. Uh, okay. So next, next time they are buying, you add it to it. Next time when they are buying, it reduces the indebtedness. So if they were, if they are buying goods 100,000, and they have 20,000, it means now they are only owing 80,000. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's normal business transactions. Some people like to pay. I'm sure for some of you, like you, the students, some of you have paid the school fees for the year. So if we're preparing accounts, okay, that portion has to be captured because you have not yet consumed the service. In the same vein, those who are yet who haven't yet paid, okay, who haven't yet paid, but are enjoying the service. I know if you don't pay, you cannot even register. So I'm sure most of you would have at least paid a percentage. But if that was not, then there will be some people who still may not have paid by right now. So they will be enjoying the service. Okay, so we have a balance. So also first six eighteen two things balance D D how much is it two things two twenty we are all following yes madam okay so let's quickly go through it twelve and six. Okay, so, so purchases, we have the date, we have the details. We have the amount. Give me the figures. The yeah, madam, mm -hmm. the, the, the credit side is 12,450. Credit side is how much? 12,450. 12,450. And the debit side. The daily side is 100 cities. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so let's continue to what's the first transaction. Credit purchases. Credit purchases. How much is the credit purchases? Will it be entered at all? Yes. Yes, yes madam. At the, at the credit side of the purchase the ledger. Contract. Okay, so uh, Lawrence, why are we entering it on the credit side of the credit purchases control? Who answered the question? Why are we entering it on the credit side? Madam, can I answer it? Okay. Madam, because it will increase the purchase amount. So it will increase our liability. To increase our liability, to be asked at 38618. Okay, credit purchases. How much is it? Five hundred and thirty thousand. Five hundred and thirty thousand. Yeah. What else? Yeah. And how can you jump like that? Yeah, but we have cash check received. Mm -hmm. From the customer. Please cash sales. What will happen to cash sales? Um, Abraham, Abraham Anaba, what will happen to cash sales? Is Anaba in the class? Audrey Elom, Audrey Elom. Audrey, hello. Hmm. So all these people claim they're in the class. Benedict Abedu. Benedict Abedu. Madam. Mm -hmm. What will happen to cash sales? Come with you, um, credit sales ledger. You will credit what? Sales sales ledger contract. You will credit sales ledger contract. Why don't you credit sales ledger contract? <laughs> And um, because it will reduce how much the debt is going. Are you sure cash sales will reduce? The sales ledger control account, why do we prepare it? Or for which particular transactions do we prepare it for? But I'm going to be recorded. Huh? Benedict, are you correcting yourself? Yeah. And which, which one is your correction? It won't be recorded. It won't be recorded because it is not a credit transaction. The control accounts are for credit transactions. So any cash transaction, it's not, except the cash transaction relates to the earlier credit transactions. So let's take note of that, okay? Um, I think somebody had put it in the chat box that it will be debited. It should not be debited. Let's move to the next one. Credit, credit sales. Credit sales, yeah. Erika Konodu, where will it be? We have seven more minutes. If we are not able to complete, you go and complete it. Erika Konedu. Madam. Where will the credit sales be? Which of the ledgers? Which of the control accounts? Madam, please. Um, sales ledger control accounts. Okay. Then the next question, debit or credit? Madam, please, debit. Okay, good. So... 
How much is it? Seven hundred thousand. Hey. How much is it? Seven hundred thousand. Seven hundred thousand. The next one. Cash purchases. Cash purchases. Um, cash purchases. Um, Esther Adokwe, Esther Adokwe, cash purchases. Madam, it won't be recorded. It won't be recorded. Thank you. Um, cash, cash received from credit customers. Who is disturbing us? Cash received from credit customers. Ama Amwa. Esenyiwa Ama Amwa. Recorded at the credit side of the sales leisure control account. To be recorded at the credit side. How much is it? Five hundred. Those who are disturbing me, you want to go out of the class? Yes, madam. Oh, you want to go? Okay, don't worry. So, madam, I said okay. you should go. Okay, which one is next? And then we have allowances from suppliers. Allowances from suppliers. Let me see. I want. Um, there are some people who are hiding and who will never talk. Rebecca Dawson Otu. Rebecca Dawson Otu. Allowances from suppliers. Rebecca Dawson Otu. Jay Curtis. Madam. Jay Curtis. Madam, please answer that one for me. Allowances from suppliers. Allowances from, from suppliers. That will be um in their purchases account. We don't purchase have purchases ledger. accounts. Purchase ledger, sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Debit or credit? Debit. Debit. Okay, thank yes, you. Yes, madam. Do we agree? Yes, madam. Yes, madam. Okay. Yes, madam. All those disturbing. That they are disturbing me. How much is it? Thousand five hundred. Okay. What next? Cash received from Cash credit received from credit customers. Okay, cash received from credit customers. Samuel Edubrobe. Samuel Edubrobe. Today I haven't heard your voice. Samuel Edubrobe, cash received from. Is someone in the class? Yeah, madam, please, I'm here. Okay, answer that one for us. Which which control account will it go into first and foremost? From, from sales. Those control accounts. 
Come again. Madam sales control account. Sales control account. Do we agree? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes, 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 madam. Credit. Credit. Uh, the next time you answer, I'll knock you through my, my, my laptop. Hey. Uh, you think it won't come into come? Hey, madam. Now, my debit or credit? Madam, please, credit. Credit, okay. Um, so, what was the transaction? Was it cash? Yeah, cash with you. Check. How much was it? Cash. Please watch check. 70,000. 70, it's cash. Yeah, it's cash, not cash. check. Who oh, are talking? They are the only ones who do accounting option. Okay, <laughs> which one? Next. Theophilus Peko. Theophilus, this country you see, don't start for us. Madam, I answer. Okay, madam. Are you called to your fellows? No, madam. <laughs> I'm sorry, madam. Uh-huh. But madam, it's me. Madam. It's you. <laughs> me, Kyo. Okay, can you answer for me? Thank you, you madam. We'll take your fellows off our list. We'll do a yes. Madam. Yes. madam, you remember madam, me, right? Madam, I'm answering. I'm not just answering. <laughs> ah, Joe, if you don't hurry up, we are in a hurry. It's even time. Okay. Madam, please, it will be, Madam, please, it will be in the purchases ledger control account. And, mm -hmm. and it will be, be debited. Uh, and it will be debited. Are we correct? Yes. 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 Um, yes. 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 Okay. Is this count what? Received. Received, madam. Count received. How count much is it? 11,000. 11,000. 11,000. Okay. I just realized that it is time. Madam, let's finish first. Oh, madam. Uh, let's madam, we can keep right going. Now. We have time. Yes, let's keep going. There are still a couple of people. Okay, so quickly. Next one. Madam, please. Okay, Calvin, answer the next one. Madam, credit. Oh. Madam, which Calvin? Yes, ah, there's Calvin. Every year, there's Calvin Kudolo. Okay, Calvin Kudolo, this one. The next one, Calvin. Every year. The next uh, one ma Madam, please, this is wow. Madam, please, I have a class now. Can I leave and join the class? Yes, you can leave. Okay, you can post the, the link, okay? Sorry about that. Yes. Yes. You see uh, that yes, madam. Um, Checks paid to creditors. So, um, there, is, there is a decrease in creditors, so you... You debit it in the. I can't be. Who is teaching you there? Oh, madam, no one. Oh, madam, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a natural <laughs> son. <laughs> oh, madam, I'm a natural son. Don't do that. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> wanting to be sure of my answer first. <laughs> hey, natural. So checks, Please checks there. Uh, you can leave. We will post it to the to to the link. Okay. So, Sorry, but I hope that those who are remaining can. Ask the questions that would help all of us. So those who yes. have questions, you can do that. Yes. So, madam, so, it, it will go to the debit side of the purchases ledger. What was that? Was it check or cash received? It was check. Check. Check, check pay to creditors. How much was it? Three hundred. Yes, Frederica, your hand is up. Your hand has been up for long. 
Yes, yeah, please, the balance set of. So if um, the amount you are owing to the supplier and the amount the supplier is owing to you is equal and you set it up, will you record it in, the, in both the sales ledger control account and the purchases ledger control account? Yes. At the yes. credit and debit. Exactly. You will not put the press, no. Are you okay? Yes, please. Thank you. Okay. Madam, the purchases ledger is checks paid, not checks received. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, how much is it? There is the three hundred and seventy thousand. Okay. Which one next? Contrast settlement. Contrast settlement. Contrast settlement. Mm hmm oh. Debit purchase. Madam, debit purchase ledger control Madam, account and credit, and credit purchase control account. And credit purchase. Come again. Madam, debit you purchase, purchase control, purchase control, control account. account. TV, and, and credit purchase control account. And credit. Con contract settlements affect both the debit side and the credit side. Mm hmm what, what does it relate to? So, it will, Madam, it will reduce both sides. Like, it will reduce yes, the. Yes, but does it relate to? It just a contract settlement. It is easy. No, I don't have a. Oh, I don't have uh, Madam, please, it just said contract settlements. Just a contrast settlement. Yes. Uh -huh. And you are saying you should. Debit, Debit purchases. Credit contract. Credit the sales. Credit the sales ledger contract account. Why not? Why not? Debit purchases. Credit sales. No. Flash, flash. Those who are disturbing the. Madam, it will reduce both sides so we can debit the purchases ledger and credit the sales, sales ledger. ledger contract account. Exactly. Okay. So it's a set off. Okay. And set offs are just amounts that reflect on both sides. That will reduce. How much is it? 14,000. 14,000. 14, what? Okay, so what next? Bill Somebody's hand is up there. I have to mention it again. Mm-hmm. Yes. What next? I said Calvin a free issue answer one. I have a question. Uh, Bill, Bill Bill I don't think I have a question. Yes, you have a question. Yes, what is your question? Receivables. And madam, please be wrote there. Contra in the purchases, the credit side, but you said it affects both sides, the credit and the debit side. Doesn't matter what you write it as. Doesn't can you write the contra? The, contra... the issue is that well, contra settlement increase your so it means that there is some settlement between a debtor and a creditor. You get it. It's just similar to uh, what word was the first one? Set off. Set off. Okay. 
So we are setting off one against the other. So you are a creditor at the same time a debtor. So these are your figures. And if we don't let it off. And for purposes of full disclosure, we must show it. So it reduces the indebtedness and it reduces the suppliers, the liability. Are you okay? And then, Madam, my question was that as you said, when as your creditor is what debits your account, so you would write it in the purchaser's debit side, and you also write it in the credit side of the sales ledger. All right. Daisy. Yes, Madam. Are you okay? No, please. You said that you, as a credit I can't hear your question. You are I said to that you said, sorry, you said that if you are a creditor, you would write the contract settlement in the mm -hmm. purchase's debit side, mm -hmm. and you would also write it at the credit side of the sales ledger. Mm -hmm. What if you are a debit? Yeah. Yeah. What if you are a debtor? Would you write it as? The purchase side, the credit side, and the sales side, the debit side. So issues with contract and set of suggest that one person is both a debtor and the same person is a creditor. What does that mean? It means the business entity sells its product to somebody, but at the same time, maybe it's also has the same person as a supplier of something else. That is what it means. Okay, perhaps UGBS is selling goods to you, Daisy. Okay, but at the same time, you have products you also supply to UGBS. So you are Daisy, but your company, okay, is both a supplier and a customer to business school. So all your transactions, okay, that is why when you pay, they net themselves off, they set it off. So you know, we will not open the business, business school will not open a different account. Of course, they can open a different account for Daisy, open a different account in the sales ledger for Daisy, in the purchases ledger for Daisy. So one will be, one will show a debit, one will show a credit because one you are debtor, the other one you are, you are a supplier. At the end of the period, depending on which one is small, you record it. But there are times too that when it comes to payment, if you have money with us, we will not wait for you to come and pay us before. We will, so we will let it off. Okay, so it's like you are a debtor, so you owe business school. Business school to you. you will not say that business school bring my money so that me to come and pay. What business school will do is that your accounts will be set off. The debit will be set off against the credit. And if there's any difference, if you are a debtor at that point, they will treat you as such. The creditor at that point, the bank will treat you as such. But normally, uh, the rule does not allow us to put the difference. We have to put the balance of the money. There is feedback from somebody's uh, Yes, we're joining. Daisy, are you are you getting it? Yes, please. I'm understanding. So, uh-huh. So you go back, but you see, in accounting, we don't like to give the net, the balance. You must record the figure here and the figure here. And it sets itself off in the course of the entry, the recordings. Okay. It is possible that the figures may be equal and opposite. And that is what we have just done. Contra entries. So it means the figures are equal and opposite. That's why you see a debit here, 
in the credit on the other side, suggesting that, so there's a credit here and there's a debit there. Ordinarily, if you leave these transactions out, it doesn't affect it. But because of full disclosure, we would have to show it, okay? But there is no other information. It only says contra entries. And anytime you see contra entries, it suggests some reduction in amounts. Are we done? Thank you. Okay, then. No, no, madam. The next one. Madam. The next yes. one is. Sales receivable. Receivable. The sales ledger control account. The credit side. Credit side. Hey, Calvin, a film with which you are coming. Which one are you seeing now? When I'm the credit side of the sales ledger control account. Sales receivable. Credit side of the sales ledger. What is that? It's what bills receivable. Yes, yes madam. Yes, yes, yes madam. Nine, nine, nineteen thousand. What does it suggest? What will it do to the total sales or the total? To reduce. It is to reduce. It will decrease the test figure. So please, whoever is saying credit, uh, credit, be careful. Uh, hey. Mother, it was a mistake. Uh, no, wait. Mother? What, what did you say that thing is? Bills, Bills receivable. receivable. Bills receivable. And you said it to be where? Credit side. 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 Credit side of the sales letter. So those who are saying that are Yes. Thank you, madam. Uh, yes, madam. Bills receivable. Okay, then it will go back to increase. But as at now, we have received it, so we only have the amount. How much 19, is it? 19,000. What else? Allowances. Allowances, Allowances to, to customers. So what will it be? The credit side the credit of the side of the sales side of the sales side of Twenty nine thousand. Twenty nine thousand. Nine thousand. Bills. What else? Bills, bills payable. Bills payable. Bills payable. Yes. Debit side of the debit side, side of, of the purchase ledger, ledger control account. account. What purchase? Bills what? Payable. Payable. How much? 90,000. 90,000. 90,000. 90,000. Mm-hmm. This is check. This is check. So where will it be? The debit side of the Why will it be the debit side of this ledger control? And then because so we are the only rotation. And then they decided it to. Okay, so, so it's not paid. Five or six hand is up. Let's see if five or six issue. Madam, please, it's not specific as to whether it's the Senate check we received or the Senate check we gave. So oh. we don't. You see what I was talking about. Normally, this honored checks with most of the customers who have. Okay. Who have, uh, who have given us checks and we have sent it and it's been this honored. Yes, madam. Madam. Yes. I think I, I'm also want to ask the same question because the question didn't specify. Sometimes the business to pay debt to eight customers 
or uh, eight credited. So why is it that this one we are entering it at the this thing, the six legger okay, and not so the? Please come again. If you were in the exam room and you find it like this, what will you do? Yeah, that is why I'm confused and I need explanation from you, madam. Like maybe the question should be the sign a check by, let's see, madam. As you were in the exam room, and a question like this as what will you do? <laughs> see this serious, madam. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, if such things happen, the best you have to do is to take a stand and note your point and make that assumption down there. Okay, so you cannot always get things as perfect as you can. Sometimes. Are you okay? Yes, madam. So, if we have decided that for purposes of this, we are assuming that this annex check relates to okay, the checks we have received, some of the checks, why not? It would be better to take a stand and put a note under and start arguing and telling the lecture that on your notion. So, how much? Provision for this Provision for this Won't come in. Who said that? Good. Why won't it come in? Why to come in? Why will it come in? It won't come in. That means a provision. Provisions yes. are not in the sales and um, doesn't come in the control accounts. And then it as a result of discount allowed to debtors. Mm -hmm. I want to know who said it won't come in. Yes, yeah, it's a, a certain girl. <laughs> 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 and I'm, I don't know her name, that's why she knows herself. Mm -hmm. And who said it will come in? A certain boy. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. So, why is that boy who said it will come in? Dancing, <laughs> Emmanuel. Yes, so Emmanuel, why did you say she reflect me? And now because it will, it will affect it if you if you make a provision, it means the sales uh, the your debtors figure will reduce. Your debtors figure will reduce. Mm. The provision should not reduce your debtors figure. It's an amount you are setting aside just in case. So that is where the caveat is. A provision is an amount that the business set aside. Okay. And you okay, and people may not, but it hasn't gotten to the bad yet. So if you look at what we gave you, we said bad debts written off. So it is no more in the books of the debtors. Okay. Okay. Okay, madam. Okay. So next one quickly. Discount yes, allowed. Why will it be? Credit side of the credit, credit side, side of the of the the Credit or debit? Credit. 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 Discount what? Allowed. 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 How much? Nine thousand. Nine thousand. Okay. Bad debts written bad off. Bad debts written okay. off. So you oh. see? So what would the bad debts written off be? Credit, 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 
Someone speak up. I can't hear you. Yes, I want you to clarify why the Senate checks it. Get it. Well, someone, what is your thoughts? So let me, I'm in a hurry, so let me just quickly. So if you look at the 30th, some checks were received. So that during the period, we had received checks to the team of 500, okay, from the customers we sold to. Now, then at a point, they returned some of the checks. The question is, if they have returned, is it increasing the indebtedness or is reducing it? Increasing. No, I want uh, someone to answer. Sorry, madam. Come on. Will it increase the, the, the indebtedness of the customers or to reduce it? Come on. Someone. Hello, madam. Will it or reduce it? So if it will increase, so we add it back. Because it means the value of the amount that they paid. Checks worth 17000 that was brought. We not go through. So, and those checks are included in the 500. So if we don't debit it and we leave this one, it only shows that we would have reduced the value of our, our debtors, which is not realistic. While some of the checks didn't go through. Are we okay? Yeah. Any other? Henry also, Madam, you know it's time long ago. You uh, also wanted to be left. So, Henry. Huh? You, you can also go. Madam, question. Those people who are on, are pleading with it's me, my time that is going. Eh? I'm going to I have another class, but I have to spend, do it for them. So, Henry, if you have a class, you can go. I guess you can go and finish it. Okay. Madam, question. Yes. Um, Madam, please, for so the um, set of the contra entries, um, can there be a situation where the balances are not equal? Maybe yes. one, I owe more than what yes. the person is owing me. Yes. But you will not write the difference. You will have to write the two amounts and they will net themselves up. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So, my people, Let's go and complete. The bad debt's written off. How much is it? 7,000. Okay, when well, we've gotten to, I guess everybody should go and complete it. Oh, no, 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 madam. What is left? Refund refund to customers for overpayment. Interest charge on debt. On debt is when do you account? Your account. Yes. So, but the, the, the template is there. All you have to do madam, is in the... Uh, yeah, we'll finish soon. Yeah, we'll finish right now. Ben, are you not tired of recording to sack your people? Oh, madam. Yes, <laughs> back with me. Uh, madam, please, what if um, after we are done recording, there's a difference aside the balance carry down? What, what yes. would you say? If there's a difference where after we are done reporting, there's a difference in the balances aside the balance carried down. What should we do with it? What should what name should we put the difference in? Put your name there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. yeah, if we the balance carried down. You put your name there. Oh, no. hmm? Okay, let's oh, hurry up. Mm -hmm. Let's hurry up. I have another we're class. Fine. I have we're fine to customers. We're fine to customers for payment. So where will it be? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
The debit side of the refunds customers. How much is it? Twenty thousand. Twenty thousand. What else? Interest charge on debt test overdue account. So where will it be? Credit side of the 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 credit Okay, how much is it? Thousand. Thousand. What else? Sales returns. Sales returns. Sales returns. So which returns would that be? Credit side. Sales ledger contract. Of where? Credit. Sales ledger contract. Sales ledger because it says sales returns. Sales returns. How much is it? Nine thousand. Yes, I have seen some hands up. Yes, uh, yeah, madam. Uh, please, the refund to customers for overpayment. Does it mean that the customers? Overpay the amount and the business is returning the balance back to them or what? Yes. I think you have to go to the credit side or. Mm. It has to go to where? Uh, credit side. No, so what? What would be the end? Main block. I, I think the the debtors are going to receive that amount. Mm -hmm. Yes. So exactly what we have done. So if we fund the customer, so the customers are the debtors. So if you know the the double entry, it means that the debtors will receive and. The, the, uh, the business will give what? Cash. Is that not it? Is that not the double entry? Mm, okay. You please, get it. Please, madam. Yes. Yes, madam. Please, madam. Yes. If the debtors are receiving, isn't it reducing their indebtedness? Yeah. And so it will be credited at the... Yes. And so it will be credited at the... Sales as a contract. Mm. No, why since do you think we have refund, the since it's a refund, it's a refund, and so the debt is receiving them to reduce their. So I, I, what is a double entry? If a business has sold to you as a yeah. debtor, yeah, and then you have overpaid, okay. And you have overpaid and they are refunding to you. What will be the entry? Um, they'll credit their cash account and debit mm -hmm. the data. Okay, so here there's a caveat here. Yes, I, I get where the confusion is. The fact that anything that is increasing the, 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 the data is debited. Yes, please. But in this case. Yes, the refund may not be your indebtedness, but it is going to be customers. Okay, and that is why it's very important to always look at the double entry. If you put it here, yes, it is a refund. When we go back to the list, where was it? It's at the debit side. Okay, 
because even though refunds may reduce such people's um, indebtedness, refund could be as a result of errors. It could be as a result of overpayment. Okay, even though it does not necessarily increase their double their indebtedness, but the double entry suggests that they will be receiving. And remember, we are only moving totals. So it, is, it may not necessarily follow the double entry. And that is the exception to the rule. It's just like bad debts recovered as well. Those are some exceptions. Are you okay? Oh, I'm still not Thank you, madam. Okay, don't, we'll come back and go and read, but we'll come back next week. Okay, okay. Okay, madam. Okay. Okay, so I am tired. So go and complete it. Next madam, you're week, almost done. Yes, that was last one. That was the yeah. last transaction. Last one, which one? That was the We've not done returns outwards. Return outwards and the closing balances. Okay, so quickly. Madam, return outwards. No, debit side, debit side, debit side of the purchases of purchases ledger, ledger control accounts. This one is unfair to all the other class. I shouldn't have. Uh -huh. 5,000. 5,000. 5,000. 5,000. 5,000. Is it only one or is two? Two. It's two for purchases and sales. No. You have debit and credit sales. No. Yes. No. Uh, for the purchases, we have it at the debit. debit. And the sales, debit. we have it at the credit. credit. If you give me garbage, we'll put in garbage. <laughs> the only thing that will be so painful is that People will not see. Okay, so the sales ledger, the credit side. Uh, what is it going? Sales, sales. How much is the? One hundred. For the purchase, this hundred. Yes, madam. One hundred. One yeah. hundred. One hundred. Hundred. One hundred. <laughs> it's hundred. <laughs> 100. It's not 100, it's just 100. It's 100. Oh, 100. <laughs> okay, fine. 100 Genesis. 100. Uh -huh. Yes, 100 Genesis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 300. 300. <laughs> So go back and balance it and see. Next week, if it doesn't work, we'll continue. Yes, madam. Okay. We'll Thank you, madam. I'm Thank sure you. next week, after all of you have reflected, you'll come back and tell me what has happened. Yes, madam. Yes, yes. madam. Madam. Okay, then. We have taken extra 30 minutes of my time. We are sorry, Thank madam. You very much. God, God bless you. Let me see how many of you are. There are still 20, 70 people on the all of you have to do accounting option. If you don't, what are yes, we doing? Yes, please. <laughs> Madam, we, don't we worry. We'll that is why we are here. And we'll do it. That's why we are here. We are, we are, we are, here. We are all accountants. <laughs> <laughs> and that is where, where the money is. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> That's where the we'll money do. is. We are trying to do what? The accounting will do it, don't worry. Uh, we will do, we will do. Oh, why me? That is, oh. where, that is where the money is. Please, madam, we are all accountants. <laughs> yes. Not just accountants, chartered accountants. Uh, okay. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, I like that. <laughs> chartered, yeah. <laughs> that is our income, chartered accountants. So, yeah, chartered yeah. accountants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so go and complete it. Go to the others. Yes, madam. 
Just knew what we can learn out of it. Yes, madam. Thank you, madam. Okay. Madam, have a nice day. Um, thank you very much. Bye. 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 100 cities. <laughs> 100 and 100. It's okay. 100.